<laughs> Hi, Crystal. <laughs> hey, Julie. Thank you so much for doing this call with me here today. I'm so excited to talk about health and nutrition and how we can uh, make an impact for lots of families out there with your story and with my story because I know we have both been really impacted by health and it's made a huge difference in our lives. Um, I'll share my story a little bit later, but um, I'd love to jump right in and have you share your story with us. Who are you and, uh, and how has nutrition impacted your life? Awesome. Thank you so much, Julie. I'm so excited to be here and to share. I'm just, this is my passion. I love doing this. I love sharing. And so uh, let's get started. All right. So my name is Crystal Dodson. I'm a holistic health coach. And these are my amazing little guys. How cute are they? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. I think they're like the best looking kids in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Don't tell the other parents that though. <laughs> so my youngest name is Josiah. Here he is, a little guy, just uh, I think it was a few months old in this picture on the left. And then my oldest, that's James. James mm. was diagnosed with autism when he was two and a half. And uh what I really wanted was for them to be best friends and love each other. And I brought Josiah home and James was not interested in his brother at all. Um, mm. So this is kind of like the picture, you know, that I, that I remember what it used to be like, and then put that next to what they are now. They play just all the time. They love each other. Goofy, hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I know. Aren't they so cute? They're so precious. <laughs> I love them. And my passion is to restore hope for families. Just give them hope that there is um, a way to help kids that have special needs. And I've seen it in my own life. And I'm passionate about sharing the things that have worked for us in hopes for uh, inspiring other people to give things a shot. Awesome. So here we are. These are like my favorite pictures ever. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. They are precious. They're like little models. <laughs> um, see, you can see Josiah's my little goofy one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so much so, spunk. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it keeps us on our toes. <laughs> so uh, just a few things I'm so excited about. James is ATEC score is down to a three. In case you don't know, ATEC is Autism Treatment Evaluation Checklist. And it's a, a wow. certain test that you can do uh, before you start an intervention. It looks at behavior and speech and um, different things like that. And basically, they say that a score under 10 is pretty much that a child has recovered. So wow. the last time I did the ATEC, he was down to a three, which is just amazing. We started somewhere about 70 I can't find the original test, but <laughs> wow! I know there was no doubt that, um, you know, just based on that, that he qualified for autism. We had went through the whole official diagnosis process. It, he was diagnosed with autism. And then um, here he is with me on a little pizza date on the right. Uh, so much fun. Uh, wow. He just finished first grade at a public school. I had been homeschooling him for preschool and kinder. And as we were going through the process of getting him um, tested to see what kind of uh, help he could get, the teacher filled out the Gilliam Autism Rating Scale and put his probability of autism as unlikely. Wow. Is that is incredible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. When, Stop crying. <laughs> when I bet. I bet. <laughs> Can you paint a little picture of, of what James was like when he first got his diagnosis in terms of language and connection or his stims? You know, what, what was a typical day like for him? Yeah, so um, he was developing typically up until about 16 months. And then he wouldn't look at us. He didn't want us to touch him. He didn't tolerate any kind of affection. Uh, he would, we couldn't ever get a picture. That's why I love pictures so much when he's like smiling and looking at the camera. He wouldn't look at the mm -hmm. camera. He was upset almost all the time. He had screaming meltdowns. Um, I, it was very difficult for me to take him out in public because I didn't know what was going to upset him. You know, we'd be at the grocery store and somebody would say, how old are you? And he would just start screaming. And wow. I mean, it was ridiculous. So even, you know, going to church, my husband would go 
first and I'd stay home with the boys and then I would go and he would come home, like just taking turns, even doing, you know, regular things that we were used to doing as a family. Um, wow. He was an extremely picky eater. Um, yeah, he didn't really interact with kids. He wasn't really interested in anybody. Uh, he was in his own little world. He did a lot of like stacking blocks just over and over or getting a book and just flipping page by page over and over and over, you know, not even looking at the pictures. So wow. we've come a really long way. <laughs> yeah, apparently I can see that. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> so this is, I love this picture. Um, I just want to share a little bit about work, about what worked for us. We did we started with a diet. We went gluten and dairy free. Um, took out all artificial everything. I started, you know, giving him everything organic. Uh, we did some homeopathic detox. We did play therapy. This is his team of volunteers that would come mm -hmm. to our house and play with him. And the last piece that we did was some energy work with the holistic chiropractor. Um, but I want to start off today just talking about diet because that's the first thing that I did. And, um, it seems to be the easiest thing to do you know parents have to feed their kid every day and if what you feed them can make a big difference for them then it seems like a logical place to start so yes yeah. awesome awesome can't wait to hear <laughs> <laughs> okay so i think that a healthy diet is is the foundation for growing bodies um, and it's just startling. I saw this statistic, 93% of children and adolescents do not consume the recommended amount of vegetables per day. Wow. It's like pretty much every kid. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, that's a right. huge number. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I can totally understand even if the parent has the best of intentions, if you've got a picky eater or you're a busy working parent, you know, there's so many things that play into um, getting kids to eat fruits and vegetables. So true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see, food, food connection. <laughs> to mm -hmm. me, food is like everything. And I know a lot of people don't think the same way I think, but I know that the food that you eat turns into who you are. It affects your behavior, your ability to focus, your health. It goes into every cell in your body. And so um, it just makes sense to me to feed our bodies, you know, the best food that we can since it's our fuel. For you know, that is so true. And I've, I've, that's one of the things I've personally experienced um, several years ago. Um, you know, I'd been in the field for 15 years and I've seen diet make a big impact for families. And, and oftentimes it's starting with a gluten-free, uh, dairy-free diet. And so it's something I wanted to recommend to my families, but I never feel right recommending anything that I haven't tried myself. So I decided just to try it. And, um, I was shocked. I did it um, for several months and uh, I think about six months and I found myself waking up a lot easier, waking a lot, up a lot faster, having more energy, being more clear headed. And then I started to travel and it was a little harder to keep it up. And so I started cheating and just eating what was available and what was being served to me um, when I would visit different families and um, and I started consuming gluten again, and um, I would become tired, crankier, um, irritable, and I finally, after a, you know several months, many months of being back on gluten, I decided again, okay, I think I've got to just clear this out, and when I did, my mood changed in a bigger way than it did the first time. Wow. Um, and so I'm a big, big proponent for what, you know, feeding our bodies what they need and what they crave. And it's going to be different for everybody. And you got it's an experiment. You got to see what it is. But I think fruits and vegetables, how can you go wrong? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I'm so glad you shared that story, Julie, because it just reminded me, I, I totally forgot to to tell you our story about going gluten-free and dairy-free. Mm. So I had a friend suggest going gluten and dairy-free, and I was a little bit annoyed because I thought, you know, <laughs> I'm feeding my kids well. Like, how dare you tell me what to do, you know? And then I was like, okay, well, it's worth a shot. You know, let me just try it and see if it helps. Um, and so I didn't really know what gluten was. I mean, it took me a little while to figure out, 
you know, what it was in, but I did know what dairy was. So I decided to take away the dairy first. And James was still like two, less than two and a half. And he was having like milk before bed every night. And it was organic, you know, as <laughs> that's not here to do. So I switched him to almond milk. And the first night he didn't drink it. And I was like, oh man, I'm a bad mom. You know, he was not happy about almond milk. <laughs> I'm sure and, lots of people can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. And I started questioning, like, what am I doing? Is this even worth it? You know. So the next night I gave him almond milk again. He did not drink it. And then we put him in bed. And I remember there was the first time he let me kiss him on the lips. Wow. So we would no always, way. It was amazing. So I would always put him in bed and try to kiss him. And he would thrash his head back and forth and get really upset. And after I took the dairy out, he was letting me kiss him on the lips. And it was wow. Amazing. And I remember crying, you know, I'm oh, like, like always crying. <laughs> 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 I kissed him over and over and over and over. And I just decided oh. in that moment man, if this really works, I'm going to figure out whatever it takes. I'm going to do whatever it takes to do this and figure it out for him because it's making a big difference in his little body, you know? Wow. That's yeah. amazing. And I think that a very common thing is, you know, when that first happens when they don't take the, the milk right away or the new food right away, I think oftentimes we can give up because of all the things that you stated. And I think it, that's okay. one of the things I've seen make the biggest impact is when the parents can persevere through that challenge, mm -hmm. it's so worth it. But sometimes, you know, for some people that challenge might be a little longer, some people it's a little shorter, but it's worth it. It's worth Definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, even the pediatrician told me that the diet wasn't going to work. Wow. And so I had to step up and say, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. So wow. even if people are telling you it's not going to work, if you decide to try it, <laughs> right, <laughs> just right. empower you to like keep going for a little while and see, you know, yeah. if it really works for your family. Yes. Yes. Awesome. 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 Okay. So the recommendation now is seven to 13 servings of fruits Ooh. and vegetables a day, Ooh. which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who can eat that? Um, yes. And, you know, the, the serving portion sizes keep getting bigger and bigger. And I just learned last week, in fact, I was listening to a lecture by a doctor from Texas, uh, Dr. Leanne Harris. And she was saying that the soil quality is so mm -hmm. much less than it used to be. That mm -hmm. in the 50s, you needed like one cup of spinach. And now to get the same amount of iron, you need like 24 cups of spinach. Yep. It's, it's crazy. crazy. So, it is. But it's helpful to understand why, you know, because mm -hmm. I think sometimes people are like, do we really need that much? But really, you know, as the nutrients go down in the soil, then that affects the produce and that affects what you're eating. And Absolutely. Then our kids have more health challenges than the average child. If you've got a child with autism or um, a special need, a lot of times there's gut things that are going on. They've got, you know, more toxins. Their body can't uh, detox as quickly as other kids. Um, digestion, absorption, inflammation, lowered immune system function, just lots and lots of stuff. And then to top it all off, typically, You've got a picky eater. <laughs> yes, yes. I know lots of people are thinking, yeah. how am I supposed to get better food when he <laughs> yeah. won't eat anything? <laughs> yep. That was me. I had like the pickiest kid on the planet is what I used to say. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. And dinner time was like World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> Every night. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, oh, it's getting to be five o'clock. That means we have to do dinner. And just red. It was terrible. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> but not anymore. And I'm going to share what I found. That's so helpful. Awesome. Tell me more. Okay. <laughs> so fruits and vegetables, why do we need so many fruits and vegetables? Um, they help your body at a cellular level to defend against oxidative stress. So basically, oxidative stress, um, if you think of an apple and you cut an apple in half, if you leave it out in the air, what's going to happen? It turns brown. It turns brown. That's oxidation. It's kind of like resting, right? And that happens inside your body at a cellular level. So what if you squeeze a lemon on the apple and let it sit out? It stays fresh. It does not turn brown as quickly. That's right. So it's <laughs> actually the antioxidants, the vitamin C in the lemon that protects Ooh. the apple from oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. So fruits and vegetables give you 
uh, the antioxidants that help with oxidative stress. Cool. So cool. Yeah. Okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that many kids, but I do have a husband and two boys. That <laughs> I used to be like, okay, wait, allergy to this, he won't eat that. Right, he gags with that. Gags, we had like, hold the spoon up, and before it even touches the tongue, James would gag. And oh my like, goodness. And it was like, ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's that goes beyond hates it or tolerates it. Yeah, like he's the <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> so um, I found a few things that are helpful to get kids trying new things. Um, the first thing that is so important is your attitude as a parent. The attitude is so important. And mm-hmm. I learned this the hard way. I went through like, <laughs> yay, let's try it, airplane, you know, whatever it was. And then they would need it. And then I would get upset. And then I'd go into like, you have to eat it. I'm the parent. And then that didn't work. And then I went back to like, okay, I'll put it on the plate. And I'm just not going to care if you eat it or not. And then they definitely <laughs> would eat it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that thing is working. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> I, I did know that when I was stressed and frustrated, it definitely didn't help. <laughs> mm-hmm. like my kids were definitely not going to try anything when I was forcing it or upset about it. Um, right. So in changing my attitude, whether they changed the way they ate or not, it helped me to be more at ease. So you weren't attached to the outcome. Right. You were just going to be strong and do your thing and... If they chose it, cool. If they didn't, cool. <laughs> if they didn't, then it was more for me. Right? There you go. I like that. <laughs> or if they didn't eat it, I didn't have to make dinner tomorrow because I could just give it to them again, right? Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I love this. It's so it's good. Like a game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me time, son. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't have to cook your meal tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. So, and then just realizing, like, um, if they make an effort to try something, even if it seems small, just really recognize them for that. Because, um, you know, you, for me, I used to think it's so easy to try a new food, just pick it up and eat it, right? Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of steps to trying a new food that I didn't think about until James wasn't doing them. So it's like, mm-hmm. put it on their plate, like allowing it to be on their plate. Right? Mm-hmm. That's a out. huge step. Exactly. <laughs> just letting it be there without freaking out. That's huge. Right, like touch it with yes. a fork or put it to your mouth, like smell it or put it right. in your mouth or chew it. Or just hold it in your hands right. without right. putting it near your mouth. All of those are huge steps. James used to put things in his mouth and not chew it or swallow it. And I remember like watching the clock one night because I thought, okay, this is going to be so funny to tell like years from now. <laughs> <laughs> An hour and fifteen minutes later. No way. Yes, is a carrot. Wow. And he wouldn't talk, right? Because he he couldn't talk with anything in his mouth, so he just was holding it, and he wouldn't chew it, and he would swallow it. Oh my goodness, that so, is amazing! I don't yeah. think I could do that. <laughs> went to bed with it and then like we found it in bed the next morning he must have just like you know been sleeping with his mouth open and out comes the carrot so oh boy he was like not gonna eat it oh boy (laughs) so funny um but when they're definitely not eating the fruits and vegetables sometimes you got to get sneaky um to get them in your child's body so what I used to do is make smoothies Mm -hmm. and juices and like puree vegetables and hide them in muffins and, you know, Mm -hmm. jumping through all these hoops trying to get them in their body because I just felt like, you know, it's so important for them to get these nutrients and -hmm. I had to get them in some way. I just wasn't sure of what the easiest way was. Mm -hmm. Now I know and I'll share that with you in just a second. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, I know the value of nutrients in the body, right? That's why I was trying all these crazy methods to get them in my kids. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but whole food is actually uh, so much more beneficial than vitamin supplements. So if you can get your kids eating the actual food, they're going to see so many more benefits. Um, So I love this. An apple alone has over 10,000 phytonutrients, everything 
works together in synergy. You know, it's all the whole food, nothing is isolated. And the average multivitamin has 31 total isolated nutrients. Wow, that time, is a big difference. Yeah, yeah. And most of the time they're synthetic, right? They're created right. in a laboratory. They're not actual real nutrients from food. Wow, scary. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so that same Dr. Leanne Harris that I was telling you about um, said that they used to call multivitamins uh, bedpan bullets. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even get absorbed, and they just come right out. <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where Juice Plus comes in. This is my um, answer for bridging the gap between what my kids were eating and what I wanted them to be eating. Uh, it's basically fruits and vegetables that are dried, juiced, and dried, and um, a whole food supplement in a capsule uh, or a chewable. Uh, and I like that at low temperatures. Yes, low temperatures, <laughs> yes. That's good. That doesn't kill the, any of the, the nutrients. Awesome. That's right. And it's still, it's live nutrients. It's got enzymes right. in there um, from the produce. So, Julie, I think you were telling me that you have tried Juice Plus. I'd love to hear what your story is with that. Yes. So, I have been doing Juice Plus for, um, I don't know, maybe it's like about eight months now. Um, about a, a little over a year ago, I got a pretty severe concussion. I hit the back of my head, this freak accident. Um, I wish there was a fun story, but no, I just like bumped in my head on a wall, but um, got a pretty severe concussion. And, and for 12 days, I was unable to function. I was sitting in a dark, quiet room doing everything the doctor told me to do. Um, which was really hard because it was a month before my wedding and I wanted, I had so much to do um, and I could not function. I would uh, be laying on the couch and I'd be hungry. So I'd go to the fridge and I'd open it and I'd just stand there and there was like a processing disruption where I couldn't figure out how to make my body do what it normally did to get itself food. And so I would just stand there staring at the open fridge for I don't know how long. Uh, and then I would close the door because I just wouldn't know what to do. And I'd go back and lay down on the couch. And then I'd remember I was hungry and go back and do that again for hours until my sister was on her lunch break. And she called me. She's had a concussion before, so she understood. <laughs> and she said, okay, what do you see in the fridge? And I'd say chips or I said salsa. She's like, great, grab the salsa. And she would have to walk me through step mm. by step through the whole process of eating. Um, and on top of that, for 12 days, I was um, constantly heating ice packs. <laughs> I would have ice packs glued to my head practically. And um, they would heat up faster than they would cool my head down. And wow it would be 24 seven. So when I went to bed, I would put about eight or nine ice packs next to my pillow and just rotate them. I would wake up every time the ice pack wasn't cold enough and rotate through those ice packs for 12 days. Wow. And then one day we got a wedding present a little bit early, which was a lifesaver. Um, after 12 days of this, uh, we got a juicer in the mail. So I started juicing vegetables and, you know, just a little bit of fruit, whether it be a cucumber or apple and mostly greens and beets and carrots and spinach and all sorts of stuff. And within two hours, I did not need the ice pack anymore, which was amazing. I could cook. I could clean up after myself. I could take care of myself. Within a couple of days, I was back to work and wedding planning. And um, I mean, it was incredible. And as time went on, I mean, I would find myself having to juice several times a day in order to function. And as time went on and life started to happen again and I got back into the groove of things, um, I just didn't have time to juice all the time. And I knew every time that I wasn't juicing, my brain would get foggy and I wouldn't function as well. And I couldn't process information. I couldn't have conversations as easily. And so that's when I found Juice Plus and, um, uh, you know, Crystal, you've really helped me so much in that process of, of educating me in nutrition and health and, um, 
And this was a lifesaver for me. So when I started taking the capsules, um, actually before that, if I didn't have juice, my body would literally shake. My hands would shake. It was like I was having withdrawals. <laughs> it was my new drug. And so when I started taking Juice Plus, I, um, I didn't need to juice as often. I still juice and I love it. I just don't have time to do it as much as I'd love to. And, um, and now I function so much better. I don't get the shakes. I can process information. I, you know, I'm back in the real world and it's because of Juice Plus. So thank you so much for introducing it to me. And um, that's why I'm really excited to share it with others. Awesome. Isn't it amazing? The power of food. I mean, it, it blows me away. Oh, life changing. Yeah. Yeah, yes. It's like real food. It's just what our body needs. Right. Right. Yes. And <laughs> Just another reason why I love Juice Plus. There's so many reasons. Um, but I love that it's clinically proven. There are so many studies, double-blind, placebo-controlled studies by top universities um, that show, that prove Juice Plus does what they say it does. It's uh, bioavailable. It actually gets absorbed by the body, reduces oxidative stress, uh, supports your body with decreasing inflammation, supporting a healthy immune system, helps protect DNA, uh, supports cardiovascular wellness, and healthy skin and gums, which so many of the things that our kids with autism deal with, systemic inflammation, immune system function, oxidative stress, it's like exactly what they need, right? All these fruits and vegetables in a way that um, they can take easily and you can be consistent with. So they yes. have uh, the capsules and they have soft chewables too for kids that don't swallow capsules. Awesome. They're like gummies, right? Oh, what kid doesn't like gummies? <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> they are. <laughs> no, you got to be careful. Like, eat the whole bag. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which is fine. It's just food, you know, but you just may be visiting the bathroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Juice Plus is the most researched brand name nutritional product in the world. So these are some of the places wow. where they've done um, studies for Juice Plus. That's incredible. Yeah, wow. really, really amazing. So this, I love this. This is my favorite ever. It shows you exactly what's in each of the blends. There's an orchard blend, which is the fruits, and the garden blend, the vegetables, and vineyard blend has uh, grapes and berries. Um, that's the really, like, extra punch you need with the antioxidants. I'm taking all three of these. Um, but what I love is that even the fruits, I mean, you get things that you wouldn't typically eat every single day, like cranberries and papaya and cherries, um, you know, beets, cabbage, kale. Uh, the garden blend has oat bran and rice bran, which are both gluten-free. So all of the capsules are gluten-free and dairy-free and soy-free. Awesome. And they test the fruit and veggie powder um, to be free of pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, bacteria, parasites, yeast. I mean, I went to the wow. uh, encapsulation facility. It's down uh, by San Diego I, I know, two weeks ago. Yeah, I know, Julie, we got to get you there. It's really I cool. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's down the street. <laughs> I got to go on a tour and see, like, their standards are so amazingly high. They have these million-dollar machines that encapsulate the powder, and after every round of um, encapsulating, they completely – they don't just clean the machine, they take it completely apart. They clean the wow. whole thing. I mean, every room is like temperature controlled and on a different air supply. And it's wow. crazy. Yeah. I, I want to live crazy. there. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I was very impressed. Yeah. Very impressed. That's amazing. <laughs> so since we started taking Juice Plus, my kids have begun asking for seconds and thirds of their vegetables. Is like wow. a dream come true. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> that is. <laughs> From where we started, I mean, it's ridiculous. Wow. So um, it's not a substitute for juice, uh, for fruits and vegetables. What it is, is it's like basically an insurance policy that you're getting everything that you need in your body. Um, and then it changes, you know, the way that the body starts craving different nutrients. So when they're getting it in their juice plus, then they start craving things like vegetables and fruit. 
I love that analogy of, of it being an insurance policy because that's exactly how I use it. You know, it's there for me all the time and like I, I still juice. It's just I also have a life now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not just juicing. Got it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I used to juice every single morning for the kids before I found Juice Plus and I would do, I had like four different juices because I was trying to get them a variety. So like every every four days we would have a different juice and amazing it's amazing I love yeah if, if you can keep that up more power to you yeah, I wasn't working at that time now right. I'm working and they're going to school so yes. I love this plus yes our immune <laughs> systems are stronger my kids started in a public school this year for the first time kinder and first grade and it was the first time ever um, since being on juice plus that one of the kids got sick and the other kid did not get sick so typically wow. you know when somebody gets sick and everybody gets it we pass it around and um, it was my youngest who got sick and I remember he was vomiting and uh, the cool thing was it lasted for a day and then was over. Wow. <laughs> I go back to school, I'm like, wow, that is amazing. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got more energy, but what I love the most is just peace of mind, knowing that my kids are getting nutrients from a variety of fruits and vegetables every single day. Awesome. It's awesome. awesome simple and affordable there is a business opportunity which is incredible and then my favorite part is the children's health study <laughs> awesome yeah this is really cool yeah <laughs> <laughs> so juice plus really cares about uh, kids their mission is inspiring healthy living around the world and the kids are our next generation right we want to support our kids and so what they offer is that kids will get their juice plus for free when an adult buys it for themselves and is the child's sponsor. So did I hear that right? Kids <laughs> get theirs for free when an adult buys their own. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Um, isn't that amazing? Incredible. It's amazing. And uh, what they found with the children's health study that kids are eating more fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, fewer doctor visits, they're taking less prescription and over-the-counter medicine, and 92% experience a positive benefit of some kind. Awesome. Amazing, I know. Okay, so we've got the trio, orchard, garden, and vineyard. It's less than 250 a day for 25 different fruits, vegetables, berries, and grains. Or you could start just with the orchard and garden, and that's less than $1.50 a day. So awesome. that's for an adult order, and then the child would get theirs for free. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, peace of mind is what I love. They've got chewables, capsules. They also have a shake mix called Complete and some new bars that are not on here. And then um, this thing on the right is called the Tower Garden, where if you want to grow your own produce, you can do that. And I actually have one of these. It's amazing. It's on my back porch. Oh, so cool. I want one of those. <laughs> I, I just go out there and pick a bunch of spinach and throw it in my smoothie. <laughs> love it. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Awesome. So here we are. This is my sweet little guy, James, on his way to complete recovery. And, so um, precious. Yeah. <laughs> so because of this amazing experience that I've had over the last um, many months of taking the product myself and learning so much about nutrition, um, I've decided to join the Juice Plus team and become a distributor because I really want to help spread this message to other families that they can get the fruits and vegetables in their children's bodies. Um, so I am now officially distributor of Juice Plus, which is exciting. So you can visit juliesando.juiceplus.com. You can email me at juliesando at autisticallyinclined.com. You can set up a free call with me either to learn about natural play therapy or um, other services that we offer. We have the listening program and all sorts of different tools that, that we have here at Autistically Inclined. Um, but if you want to learn more about Juice Plus as well, you can set up a free call with me at autistic, www.autisticallyinclined.schedulista.com. So. Thank you so much for being here, Crystal. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Um, oh, now I'm on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I would just encourage you, if you're interested in learning more, to contact Julie because I've seen the difference that nutrients uh, have made in my family, and it's incredible. It's absolutely amazing. 
and I want everybody to be able to experience the success that we've had. So, so awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we hope to bring you more information like this in the future. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye.